Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Melissa. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you everything I picked up from the Sephora savings event. I had a budget that I went over by quite a bit. I was like, I'm not going to go over $200, but I'm pretty sure I landed right at the 800 mark. So don't judge me too badly. I'm judging myself. But yeah, let's get into what I picked up. Um, I'm excited to try these products, so I want to share them before I open any of them and play around with them. I went in two different trips. This was my initial trip. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do too bad. Um, this is where I thought I was going to stop. But then that final day started to approaching and I started to get buyer's remorse. So I went back and got some other stuff. So yeah. All right, but let's get into it. So I did pick up a mini of the one size on till dawn. Um, the reason I picked this up, I will say I was influenced <laughs> to purchase this. I'm not so much into like super matte makeup nowadays, but summer's approaching. I'm a very hot person. I sweat a lot. Um, my skin isn't necessarily oily, but because I use like um, sunscreen and moisturizer it can get a little bit shiny during the day so everyone raves how great this setting powder i'm mean, setting spray is so i just want to try it out i haven't tried anything from one size that i don't like i haven't tried everything in the line but the products i have tried have been really good um and i only wanted a mini size because it'd be good for travel again i don't like my makeup to be too matte so this will probably last me a while this palette was one that was released last year. I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not, but I don't know. Natasha Denona has been growing on me as a brand. The more eyeshadows of her I try, the more I want to kind of like collect all her palettes. Um, so I did pick up the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. When it first came out, I wasn't sure if I wanted it because I thought it was pretty similar to the Glam palette. They are pretty similar, but the undertones are a lot different um so yeah and as i get older i don't know if it's a, as i get older or not but like i'm starting to like like softer makeup like just taking like one of these champagne shimmers and just throwing that on the lid with a very light face makeup so my like makeup aesthetic for day to day has been changing a lot as i say with pink eyeshadow but yeah um the older i get like the more simple neutral i want my day-to-day -day makeup to look like i just want to look effortless if that makes sense i did pick up quite a few things for body care i think this brand is pretty new to sephora it's called soft services so these are um like soap bars but they're exfoliating so i'm excited to try these out they're called the buffing bar from soft services but I also picked up from that same line the Speed Soak Skin Rehydrating Gel. So this is like a lightweight gel body moisturizer. Again, summer's coming. I am a hot person, but I also believe in moisturizing my skin. So instead of using like heavy creams and lotions, especially during the day, something with a gel formula will be a lot nicer. It won't feel as heavy on the skin. I also picked up the Smoothing Solution Calming Gel Exfoliant. So I do have parts of my body that the skin is a bit rougher, like my elbows, backs of my thighs. Um, I do have KP in those areas. So I have to constantly be like moisturizing and using body exfoliants. Um, normally I use M-Lactin and it's been pretty solid for me, especially if I use it regularly. But I just wanted to give something else a try. It's 10% AHA. So if you were to pick this up, just be mindful, probably only use it at night and um, make sure to use sunscreen on the areas that you do use it because it'll make your skin a lot more sensitive to um, the sun. For nighttime, I do prefer a more richer, thicker body lotion. So I picked up the Kiehl's Soy Milk and Honey with Body Butter. So I believe I've tried this like years ago. Open this. 
good. She's thick. She's a thick cream. So this will last you a very long time. But something like this right after the shower smells really good. If you like like a milk honey type of scent, you'll like this. Um, but this is just great to keep your skin soft. Um, a nice little treat for your nighttime shower. Yeah, so I am excited to start using this. From The Ordinary, I picked up the Natural Moisturizing Factors Hyaluronic Acid. It's like a serum for your scalp. You can probably see it on camera. I probably got flakes showing right now. But I have a very dry, itchy, flake-prone scalp. Part of it is due to product. Part of it is just the nature of my skin. I do have psoriasis. Right now it's okay. But, um yeah i don't love using oils on my scalp it just makes me like itch and i feel like it just makes my hair feel dirtier a lot faster so i'm gonna uh, try out this product hopefully it goes well i was really debating on this one but i picked up the natasha denona hygiene energizing hydrating primer serum um I don't know the reviews were just really good people were like it just works for like combo skin keeps you excuse me keeps you moisturized while also like hydrating the skin so i am excited to give this a try this highlighter from bobby brown i have wanted for a very 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 long time but I always kind of like talk myself out of it. It's like, oh, you don't really need another highlighter. And I don't. But it was on sale and it was the last one there. So it was like fate. <laughs> um, and Bobby Brown highlighters aren't the cheapest on the market. I did swatch the Fenty ones. I was contemplating those. I don't know. Like, look how pretty that is. If you're like fair with neutral undertones this is such a pretty highlighter that right there yeah bobby brown highlighters are beautiful pink quartz has been in my collection forever it's one of my top five highlighters especially for like cool pink tone highlighters so i'm i'm happy to have this one in my collection like if you're into a more subtle sort of highlighter i definitely recommend checking out the bobby brown ones i haven't seen the pulpy concealer everywhere people say i don't want to say this it's a better version of the closest one i do really love the closest one however it does go bad pretty quickly um it's a clean brand so that may be why uh, I'm glad I went in store that I was going to order this online and I would have gotten a shade way too dark for me. I ended up picking up the shade Bad Badam. So I'm excited to try this out. The reviews say um, it works really well under the eye. I've noticed my under eyes have been a lot drier, a lot crepier. So I'm trying to just like pack in moisture there. So hopefully this concealer works for my drier under eye. I do have another one of these I picked up in the other bag, but these are one of my favorite lip products ever. Um, these are the Dior Addict Rouge Brilliant Hydrating. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was French. Let's try in English. Hydrating Shine Lipstick Intense Color. This one is in the shade 373 Rose Celestial. Like, first of all, like if you're into nice packaging, Dior never misses. got the Dior insignia on top and these you can think of as like a high shine sort of lipstick but they last really well on this on the lip so look how pretty that is for summertime like just imagine this with a pink cheek and some mascara and a skin tint and you are done the last item I have in this bag is one of the quads from YSL um I picked up the Babylon Roses. These are the Couture Mini Clutch. First of all, the packaging is so nice. Let me show you this. 
I'm sure you've seen them. They're not new. <laughs> but that is what that looks like. So beautiful. And that is that color story. So mauvey pink. Um, there's like two shimmer shades, three shimmer shades. This one ha does have like glitter in it, but not as much as these two down here. And this one seems to be like a soft matte. But I am very excited to try these out. People rave about these as well. Great um, reviews. People say to be a luxury brand that they formulated really good eyeshadows because if you know a lot of times the more luxury brands their eyeshadows are very soft um very hard to build up um but people say these perform very differently to your traditional like high-end eyeshadows getting into the second half of what i purchased first up is a setting spray from urban decay nothing new but i've always tried the regular all-nighter i think it's a great setting spray this one is the extra glowy so like i said i really have been liking my skin to look very glowy very skin-like um so if i can achieve that with some like full coverage foundation that'd be fantastic um because this is like a prolonging setting spray that adds glow because fix plus is like a holy grail product of mine but that doesn't really prolong your makeup it just makes everything look more skin like and dewy um so i am definitely excited to try this out i knew i wanted a new moisturizer again with summer coming something a little bit lighter um i was contemplating on getting the tatcha one but there's something about the smell of that one that i just don't like and I know the smell will dissipate after a while, but this is something about it I don't like. Um, and it's quite pricey, I'm sure you know. So what I opted for instead was the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Cream Moisturizer. This one had really good reviews. Um, I put it on my hand in store. It felt very nice. It didn't like I had a bunch of product, but nothing pilled or looked weird. So excited to give this a try and I also picked up from this line um a very viable product it's been out for years now but I've never tried it it's the summer fridays jet lag mask so I can be a bit intense when it comes to skincare um I do use a lot of exfoliants chemical and physical and sometimes my skin does suffer so yeah so I thought if I started using a hydrating face mask, that would probably be a good idea. <laughs> this one has really good reviews. It's been around for a very long time. So I am excited to start using this in my like special facial Sunday sort of days. But speaking of exfoliators, I did pick up the Olea Hendrickson Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. I used to have like a mini of this. Um, I think this is great. It's a chemical and a physical exfoliant. It's got like tiny beads in it. Um, yeah, I mean, it has lemon extract. It hasn't irritated my skin, but this isn't something I would use every day. Just when I feel like my skin needs a good exfoliation because I do use tretinoin and tretinoin you know does expedite the process of skin renewal or cell renewal so yeah sometimes you need a good scrub and this scrub from what I can remember was one I really did enjoy using this was a product I wasn't sure if I wanted like I wanted it and I was like oh it doesn't really like fit what you like or your skin type but I was like I'm just gonna pick it up it's the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Um, I just figured like for summertime, something like this would be nice, especially like in the T-zone. Um, I can have like a face tint everywhere else and just use this on the areas that I get a bit more oily or I'm a bit more textured. So we shall see. Hopefully it's not too drying. Let me know if you have this, if you like this, what tips and tricks do you have to make it look its best? I don't really know why I picked this up. Like, I feel like I, I used to own this. I used it and it was okay. But 
Yeah, I don't know why I really picked this up, but this is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Mist. Um, it's supposed to be good for sensitive eczema prone skin. If you have any irritation, it's supposed to calm. As long as it doesn't irritate my skin more, I guess no harm was done, but I don't really know why I picked this up. I remember the days when I would sit down back in like 2009, 2010, when I was at home or in college alone in my dorm room watching beauty YouTube. Everybody loved this concealer. This is the YSL Touche Clot. Um, I at those time at that time could not afford YSL, and I don't even know if I knew what Sephora was at that time. But now, as an adult in my 30s, I can splurge on nicer makeup these days. And like I said, as I get older, I'm noticing more lines under my eyes. It's drier, it's crepier, and I'm also not liking like super heavy full coverage makeup. So I am excited to try this out. This has been out forever and probably for good reason. Um, they're not going to keep a, a product around if it's not selling well. Um, it does have a brush tip applicator that I am not a fan of in any sort of product. But I am very excited to start using this, especially on those like easy, no makeup, makeup, your skin better sort of days. I love press on nails. These are press on nails currently. Um, I saw they carry Glamnetic at Sephora, and people always talk about how good these press on nails are. So I picked up one. These are pretty simple, like a more abstract French. But I am excited to try these out. I'm probably going to wear these when I go on vacation. Yeah, I will show you when I put them on. Like I said, I did pick up another one of the Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Colors. This one is just in the color 100 Nude Look. This one's just like an everyday. Sort of tan, beige sort of color. But again, I love these lipsticks. See the pink? I have left a stain behind. They're very comfortable. I highly recommend these if you've ever if you've never tried them. And last but not least, the last thing I picked up was a fragrance. I did want to pick up one of the Jackie Ina perfumes, but those sold out so quick in my local Sephora. I was able to smell them. The one hard to get is the one that. I'm most attracted to, but it was sold out, so what am I new? So I went around like, did I want to buy like a full size Killian? Because I do have a travel size that's halfway through, and I was looking at the new Valentino, but I smelled this one and I fell in love. This is, <laughs> I don't speak French, so Les Infusions de Prada, Infusion de Lang. So I'm assuming that means infusion of like Lang Lang. So let me open this. I know it seems like the norm nowadays people want perfumes that are like $500 or more. If not, they're no good. That is too high for me. This was a very splurred item for me. It normally retails for $180. You do get 3.4 ounces, so it is a bigger bottle. But I was definitely getting this on sale. Because I'm not paying $180 on a perfume. <laughs> but let me read like the notes to you. So it's fa Fragrance Family's Earthy and Woody. Scent type Citrus and Woods. Key notes are Lang Lang, Bergamot, Sandalwood. A floral and fresh perfume that encapsulates the uplifting personality of the Lang Lang flower. This fragrance blends captivating solar Lang Lang, sparkling bergamot, and sandalwood for a bright second skin scent. I love sandalwood. I love Lang Lang. I love bergamot. So this was just perfect for me, especially summertime. Really, I wear this all year long, really. It's just like a very clean, fresh, light scent. I'm going to spray some on myself now. Oh, 
Yeah. Like, it's just so, it's, it's a little powdery, I won't lie. So if you don't like powdery perfumes, you might not like this. I like powdery perfumes. I feel like they smell clean. So it's a bit floral, a, a bit powdery, a bit citrusy. I just love it. It just smells so good. It's just, like, do you ever deep clean your house and, like, afterwards how good it smells? That is, like, what it smells like to me. That may not be appealing to everyone, but that's appealing to me. And that was everything I picked up during the Sephora savings event. Needless to say, I probably won't be buying any new makeup anytime soon. Because um, we need to start saving some money. But yeah, might as well take advantage of the sale while it's around. It's at a paying full price. And to end the video, I just want to thank anyone who takes the time to watch my videos. I really do appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave me some comments down below. What did you pick up during the sale? What will you be picking up next sale? I'd love to know. And again, if you use the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm, how do you use it? What do you do to prep your skin? What do you wear underneath it? Let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Um, again, thank you for your time. Have a great day. Take care.